Long ago, two dragons who loved each other very much were caught in a very heavy rain. The only thing dragons didn't like was this rainy weather. Because when their wings got wet, lightning would strike them, their flakes would be damaged, and they would never be able to spit fire. There was such a strong storm that day that the purple dragon was thrown far away from his lover, the yellow dragon. Although the yellow dragon wanted to search for her lover, she remained where she was because her wings were wet and she was very sad. And the purple dragon drifted into a cave at the top of a high mountain. Huh? What is this place? Where am I? A very loud noise was heard from inside the cave. <laughs> That voice belonged to Evil Bell, who was half wolf and half lion. I am Lord the Storm and Lightning Bow! And you are a fire breathing dragon! <laughs> the purple dragon was so frightened that as soon as he wanted to fly away, Bow flashed lightning in the sky. I'm not leaving until you tell me how you spit fire. You will tell all the secrets of fire breathing. No, I can never do that. Then I will make it rain forever and imprison you here. <laughs> the purple dragon was trapped in Bao's cave. At that time, the yellow dragon was looking everywhere for her lover, the purple dragon. She looked for him in the bear's nest, in the elephant's garden, and even in a rabbit hole, but could not find him anywhere. <laughs> Seeing the yellow dragon crying, a horse approached her. Why are you so sad, dragon? What happened? My love, the purple dragon has disappeared. It's going to rain again soon, and I won't be able to look for him because my flakes will be damaged. Did you ask the forest ranger monkey? Maybe he knows. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go and ask right away. Wait. Pick this red fabric and cover yourself. It will protect you from the rain for a while. The yellow dragon took the red fabric and moved through the forest. At that time, it started to rain again. The yellow dragon finally arrived at the forest ranger. She asked if he had seen the purple dragon. <laughs> yes, I saw him floating in the sky. Look, this is a flake he dropped. He was drifting towards those pine trees. The yellow dragon flew quickly to the place where the pine trees were when the rain had stopped a little. She looked around but found no sign of her lover. At that moment, a rabbit appeared before her. Hello, rabbit. Have you seen a purple dragon around here? Yes, I saw. He was drifting towards that swamp. As the yellow dragon was going towards the swamp, the sky was again covered with black clouds. If you want to know why it rains all the time, find the ox. The yellow dragon flew quickly to the edge of the swamp. There she saw an ox waiting under a willow tree to shelter from the rain. I'm looking for the purple dragon. I wonder if you've seen him around here, ox. Oh no, not around here. I saw him swaying over that steep mountain. But you have to be careful. Bao lives on that hillside. Bao? Yes, he is the lord of rain and lightning. He is very arrogant and unloving. He is also a mean-hearted person who wants to have everything. Oh, now I understand. That's why the rain never stops. Bao must have caught the purple dragon. You can stop Bao with your fire. If you want to be able to breathe fire when it's raining, go to the tiger and get help from him. The yellow dragon quickly went to the tiger before it started to rain. Yes, a little further you will see a snake. He will give you a crimson magic pepper. Eat it in one move. The yellow dragon went to the snake as the tiger said. Just then, dark clouds appeared in the sky again. Hurry, snake. 
Give me that magic pepper. It's going to rain now. The snake plunged his head into the bottom of the soil and pulled out a magical red pepper. The moment the yellow dragon ate the pepper in one move, it started to rain and storm again. But this time, the yellow dragon was neither cold nor flaking. With great courage, she spread her wings and began to fly towards the steep mountain. <laughs> Come on, tell me how you spew fire, or I'll not untie the boulder tied to your feet, and you'll never be able to fly again. No, fire is peculiar to us, to dragons. You can never learn it. Just as Bao was walking towards the purple dragon, a ball of fire appeared behind him. What? That? How does that happen? Fire can't burn in the rain! Out of the giant fireball, the yellow dragon showed up. Free my lover, Bao! Now! No! I won't let him go if he doesn't tell me the secrets of fire! The yellow dragon first stopped the rain by spewing fire into the dark clouds in the sky. Then she melted the rock that the purple dragon was tied to. Thus, the purple dragon was freed. Bao was stunned by the power he saw. How can you be stronger than me? This is the power of love, not fire or storms, Bao. Yes, you don't need fire to be strong. You are not a dragon. I'm not, but I can have anything. Everything! No, you can't have love, Bao. You only feel love in your heart. The yellow and purple dragon were very happy to finally be reunited with each other. Bao had never felt so weak before. However, thanks to two dragons, he accepted the existence of love in his heart and joined the chirpy life in the forest. After that day, dragons were able to fly freely in the rainy weather and even left the trace of love in the sky forever by spewing fire. If Snow White wouldn't have eaten the apple the old lady had given her, if Cinderella would have forgotten about midnight and kept on dancing with the prince, if the little mermaid wouldn't have rescued the prince from the sinking ship, and if Hansel and Gretel would have not entered the cake house. Or if the little red riding hood wouldn't have told the wolf where she was going. None of these fairy tales would have existed. They took us to exciting adventures on magical lands we have never seen. They raced against evil sometimes and sometimes it was against time. They showed us the true meaning of passion, love, Friendship, helpfulness, sharing, and being a family. We cried together. We laughed together. But in the end, we always learned something. Full of the most beloved and beautiful fairy tales, Adisa Baba Children's Classics Channel is on YouTube.